how can someone who failed come to teach you and everything will go well <laughs> so today i'm taking you back to history anyway i always take you back i always take you back to history because that is the main the main reason why this channel <laughs> was created anyway so that we regain uh what we have lost as the melanated people as kings and queens that we are as um um the nine ether beings as the originals of the earth today we talk about we talk more about mathematics we dive more into mathematics and i uh, you know when you talk about calculations um you talk about some um, physics mathematics what comes to mind mainly is uh, pythagoras because we have a theory that is after him and it's like oh he's the one of course that's what they always say and when you, when you look into this whole pythagoras theory is more about um this whole pyramid calculations and the rest of them but do you know that all those things are just um child's play a lot of scientists have gone to egypt all right to get to 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 calculate this the whole this whole pyramid building because when you talk about building mostly what comes to mind again is calculation because you have to put this and this together and then the angles and everything so a lot of scientists have done their own part to see how they get to understand how the pyramids were built all right they've done everything but they are not able to no scientists have ever been able to get a secret behind the calculation of the pyramid and how the pyramid were built and do you know what they did your majesties the letter said it's aliens it's not humans that built this pyramid why it is your ancestors it is my ancestors that built the pyramid we were people our ancestors were people that had full knowledge of technology they have everything in in there and that's why you see that right now the, the reason why we are not even getting hold of some of these things is because we are cutting off from our roots we are cutting off from our lineages we are cutting off from our ancestors we are making Mixing ourselves with some other series, DNA series that are lower. So that's how we, 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 we keep going. We keep losing it. Now, we don't even communicate anymore. We don't want anything to do with our ancestors anymore. This is deliberate. They tell you it's demonic. But you have to worship their own. You put the pictures of some people you don't know in your houses. It's okay. But when you do that with your own ancestors, picture they told you, tell you it's demonic. Why do you think they do that? Because they don't want the connection anymore. They want us to keep apart. And most of the times we get messages from our ancestors. But because we are not calm to listen, we don't even know. We don't even know. So, um, I'm going to shock you. Maybe from the thumbnail title, some of you have seen this. Like, this same Pythagoras who became maybe the father of mathematics or something like that. He studied in Kemet. He studied under our ancestors for 22 years, your majesties. He studied for 22 years. <laughs> and do you know what, your majesties? After studying for 22 years, he failed mathematics. Pythagoras studied for 22 years in Kemet, under our ancestors, under your ancestors, and failed, failed mathematics. Then lo and behold, he went back to Europe and became the father of mathematics, and they tied it all around us that we have to follow his theory. This is the same person that failed. Now tell me, why would the world not be chaotic why would the world not be upside down because most of the things we learn <laughs> are even from people who failed it so we 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 we, f we look at other people other being outside of us and learn from them and throw away the originals that are in us that is in our land all right we, we say our ancestors never knew anything. They told you your ancestors never knew anything and you accepted it wholeheartedly and we are forced to learn from them. And these same people never got it right. Now tell me, how would the world get it right where we have always been learning something that has never been the truth? E Egypt was a superpower of the ancient world. Yeah. So everybody else wanted to be like it. Mm -hmm. The Greek scholars studied there. Mm -hmm. Pythagoras mm -hmm. studied in Egypt for about 22 years. He actually failed mathematics for 22 years to go and become the father of mathematics in the Western world. But in Kemet, he failed he mathematics failed. for 22 he's years. He's a dropout. Yeah, he's he a school dropout of Kemet. 
the studies of Kimedi were studying for 42 years, mm -hmm. not for 22 years. Yeah. He failed. He failed and dropped years. out. I dropped out. Yes. And go back. And went there as an expert yeah. of sorts. Yeah, I went back to Greece <laughs> with the theorem of Pythagoras. It's all about pyramids, yeah. about triangles, all uh -huh, of that. It's all uh -huh. about pyramids mm. and all of that. He failed. Mm. So just like today, no other civilization, mm. in, in, in the most advanced form, the Chinese, yeah. they've all done they the studies of the pyramids. Replicate this. They, they, can, they can't even tell you how this how thing was built. Yes, Up until can. now, it's speculative theories mm -hmm. how mm -hmm. the pyramid was built. Yes. They tried everything. They tried to replicate True. that, come up with their badges, mm -hmm. and they're thinking in the context of the modern world that how did these people build this tall building without cranes? Mm -hmm. They did not have cranes or whatever. Mm -hmm. But they can With such precision, by with, the way. Exactly. With a know, serious mathematical precision. Mathematical precision, yeah. pre precision mm -hmm. to some of the constellations. Yeah, the constellation, um, the, yes. the, 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 the golden meridian. Right. Like you see when Zaluyalanga is. Uh -huh, uh -huh. All the way to the great pyramids of Gizeh. Right. Same straight line. line. Straight line. Yes. You understand? Such kind of precision. Yeah. So, and that is why even lately they attributed to the mm. uh, aliens. Mm. So there is a program that the Europeans have made now. It's called Ancient Aliens. Mm. Uh, 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 we call them the ancient astronauts. Mm. So they try to identify things that look like spaceship, things that look like yeah. uh, alien characters. They look at the head of Agnatan and his elongated mm -hmm. skull and all of that. This is the head of an alien. Mm. But they were wearing turbans mm -hmm. or, or, or crowns. Ah, yes. Yeah, the turbans and the beard. Yes, you see and, the the beard. And, the, and the pharaohs. Yes, yes it's a chemetic thing. Uh -huh. So they were wrapping their head, you see. So instead they twisting the story and yeah. they're saying it's aliens and they, and they look say it's like aliens this. because they can't bring themselves close to it attribute that accept that the, is the black, black people. Man has done there is a book you need to get is called Ruins of Civilization mm -hmm. by Count Volney, C. Mm -hmm. F. Volney. Volney was one of those group of people Napoleon took scientists, scholars mm -hmm. when he invaded Egypt. Uh, uh, when he invaded Egypt. He came with scholars, scientists, all group of, of this type of people. So one of them, Count Volney, mm -hmm. witnessed the bombing of the nose of the Sphinx when they disfigure it. Mm -hmm. But Count Volney wrote in the book Ruins of Civilization that mm -hmm. uh, it's so amazing that there, this race today who are our slaves, mm -hmm. who are the despise of the world, are mm -hmm. the ones who gave to the world civilization. You know how I figured it out? What's one times one? One times one is one. To multiply means to do what? To make more, right? Yes. Increase the number? Yes. Multiply? Yes. How can one times one equaling one be part of the multiplication table? It fails to satisfy the term multiply. It doesn't multiply. Does it? What's an action times an action? You got some weed. No, no, no I'm asking. <laughs> what, Honestly, what I'm asking. Reason. What are we doing reason, here? Reason, <laughs> reason, reason, reason. I want you to reason. I don't know. What's an action times an action? A reaction. Right? Okay. Have you ever seen an action times an action without a reaction? Have you? No. Because every because equanimity is the currency of the universe. There's always an action times an action, a re, an action having a reaction. So how can one times one equal one? How can a times b just be a and not b? What happened to the concept? Terrence, of these are late night conversations. These are no. These <laughs> yeah, are, they are. This is the beginning of, of of our understanding. It should fit. What kind of calculator you got? What kind of phone you got? An iPhone. Okay, go to your calculator. Whatever the new one. No, go to your okay. calculator. Go to your calculator. All right. <laughs> go to calculator. Go to calculator. Yeah, you I got two. You got an iPhone? What are we doing? I want both of y'all to do two separate things. I want to do the same thing to start with. Turn it to the side. Okay. All right, now I want you to both hit the number two. Did the whole calculator show up? Hit number what? Hit the number two. Number two. Go to the square root. It is... The second column from the left, third row. It'll have that square yeah. thing. All right, 1.4. 1.414213563793095. 1. 1. Yeah. Holy crap. Now, I want you two to do two separate things now. <laughs> two separate things. I want you to multiply it by two, hit times two, equal, don't you do it. Okay. And I want you to hit X to the third. X to the third, it's going to be. Times third. three? 
No, X to the third. Oh, X. Oh, okay, I see it. I see it. X to the third. Yeah, I got you. All right, one point no. one. You didn't hit X to the third. Yes, I did. If you hit X to the third. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. You're right. You're right. So I go did back that. again. Okay, so now here's where you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm two, good. Two square root. Square root. And hit X to the third. All right, 2.82. 2. 8, 8, 2, 2.8, The same value you got. Yeah. By multiplying it by two. Yeah. And he just cubed it. Divide it by two again. Both of y'all. Divide, divide by two. Divide it by two. No, divide by two. <laughs> hit equal. Now, cube it again. Hit X to the third. Yeah. You see that loop? Yeah. That's saying X cubed is equal to 2X, which is equal to X plus X. That's an unnatural equation. That's a mathematical fallacy. And that's the beginning of your math. That's how I invented tangential flight because you're mad. Someone programmed that lie in there and lied to you and you and everyone and all your fundamentals are off. Your majesties, you heard all that, like the audacity. All right, because you feel like you can't just attribute this to um, the black people. You can't attribute this to the Africans. You just end up saying that um, it is aliens that built this. It's it's not um, it's not African because they can't bring themselves, like you heard, they can't bring themselves to uh, to agree to the fact that these same people they have told from ages past that they are incapable are the real ones who are behind technology who are behind mathematics who are behind medicine who are behind everything that you can think about that is advanced civilization let me tell you what we have today as technology is not up to what our ancestors in the ancient past worked with in another video we're going to see even the uses of this pyramid they only tell you that this pyramid are places where pharaohs are buried this is a gigantic building and it has a lot of uses yes there might be bodies of um, or mummies of these of these pharaohs in there but it's not just a burial place for <laughs> a pharaoh there's a whole lot of things that this pyramid is used for. They know. They know. But they wouldn't say. Because when they say it, it will dispute most of the things, most of the lies that we have been believing as true. All the ages past. And of course, it's going to affect their sovereignty. I've got to understand that there is a truth. And they know the truth. When I say they, there are people that control all of us, whether you take it or leave it. The narrative we have, how we live our life, are controlled by some few persons. Now, they know this truth. And they know if we get to the truth, there wouldn't be sovereignty anymore. We all, we all now tap, we all will get to know that we are kings and queens. We are not slaves, we are not puppets. So, if we all are kings, who is going to bow for who? You get that right. So the, the, then religion is now in between us and the truth. And they manipulate us with this religion. So the moment you cross over religion, you are out of that net. You are out of that boundary. And that's why it's just few people who do that right now. Because even those who do that and... To some level, they try to make you look at them as bad people. To some level, they try to honor life those people. They use one or two ways, maybe the weakness of those people, to get to them and destroy them. The world is more spiritual than we see. Don't think that the world ends with just you living your daily life. There is a lot more happening your majesties and we we have to keep cracking that code we have to keep helping ourselves to see the truth for what it really is and i'm gonna see you in my next one i hope you enjoyed today's session if you do give this video a thumbs up remember to share to your loved ones if you haven't subscribed to the channel why not why not subscribe so that we we journey together to discovering what the truth really is and um, who we really are all right so love yourself love others stay safe stay positive always your majesties bye for now